All right, let's take on this word problem from the top of a 200 foot lighthouse. Let's go ahead and draw that lighthouse just to get started here. I have this lighthouse, which is 200 feet. That's my lighthouse. The angle of depression to a ship in the ocean is 23 degrees. And I'm, I think that's actually not that bad. And what do I mean by the angle of depression? That means that the angle that we uh, form with the horizon is 23 degrees. So uh, just write that down, 23 degrees. And um, how far away is the ship from the base of the lighthouse? So, so this is, say, call this A. And let's also fill in maybe, well, the problem is I start getting carried away. But um, maybe I can make it clear that that I, this is the ship over, over here. So uh, that looks like a little sailboat or something. But here's, here's my, my ship with, <laughs> whatever. That's supposed to be my ship. And then this over here is a, um, is a, is a lighthouse, which also I, it escapes me exactly at the moment what a lighthouse looks like. But um, I always thought lighthouses are, might have some red in there too, besides white. So, um, and then the base here is, uh, is, is intended to be the ocean. Maybe I'll put that in come back and go over that with blue. Something nice, it's a good color. Okay, now the thing is that sort of need to know about um, this, this, this fact from geometry that we have corresponding angles. Uh, sorry, I could see someone who's teaching high school geometry, which I did years ago remembering the name, but these two angles are the same. Are these corresponding angles or alternate interior? I think they're alternate interior angles. Those two angles are the same because, see, we have two parallel lines and then we have cut by a line and these two are the same. And you can easily prove that because here's 23 degrees and the other angle would have to add up to 90 so that would make uh, 67 degrees, um, it seems to me. And so therefore, and then 67 plus 23 would also make 90. Okay, but we don't really need that 67 degrees right now. We're trying to find A, aren't we? We're trying to find, uh, how far is the ship? I used the calculator to find the height of the tree. That's, that's left over from the last problem. Use a, a calculator. to round to the nearest foot. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. That was the last problem. I had a tree, and I think I was copying and pasting. So express it. How far is the ship from the base of the lighthouse? We're trying to find A. We're going to round to the nearest foot. There's no tree. That was the last problem. Okay, so we're trying to find A. Now, what am I going to use? I have opposite of 23 is 200, and I'm trying to find A, which is adjacent. So I have 23. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use tangent. I'm going to have the tangent 23 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 200 over A. Multiply both sides by A. So A tangent 23 degrees is equal to 200. By the way, it probably would be more convenient if I use cotangent, the reciprocal tangent, which was adjacent over hypotenuse. But then, you know, I sort of like sticking to the basic, the, the, the big three when I'm doing triangles, the sine, cosine, and tangent. So I, I don't regret that. So, I mean, because this is moving along just fine. Um, in fact, it's a, I think it's a little bit of a challenge, not that much, but to, to find cotangent on my calculator. But um, that gives me the answer, and I, and I also am fine with not writing that as cotangent. You could, 200 times cotangent. Let's just do that over here. That's 200 cotangent 23 degrees just for that's a good one too but I, th I think i can leave it like that and then what i'm going to do is i am going to see if i can without fumbling and ruining it if i can get the power on my calculator and so forth uh it's low i'm going to see if i can figure this uh how to use the calculator and get an answer well it says that this a using the calculator 
is 471.1704732. It's an irrational number. It, the only reason it stopped is because that's what my calculator is set to. But we're supposed to do this to the nearest foot. So A is approximately 471 feet. I feel like on the last problem, I didn't, I forgot to use approximately, which, I, which bothers me so much. Even though it's a different video, I want to put the approximately 256 feet when I round it. Okay, so, um, all right, I, I don't want, it's not equal, it's approximate, and um, I'm not going to redo that video, though. That's too much. Okay, so anything else? First of all, does that look like it's right? I think so. I mean, look... 67 degrees is not that much different from 60 degrees and then this would be 30 degrees and so you can start fiddling around thinking about that if you're stuck without a calculator i mean there's other ways to, to, to find these values but um okay i think it makes sense that the 471 is longer than the 200 just 67 degrees is greater than 23 degrees all right so there we go that's all